Hello, hello, hello. Did you see that nose? OMG. Welcome back to my channel. That's the big guy. I'll back up so you can see him. Come here, Gus. Come here. Do people love to see you? There he is. You get the backside of him. <laughs> He's standing right by me instead of laying on the couch today. Oh my gosh. It's Jody Dunn. And I am coming at you with some more Walgreens goodness. We racked up on some register rewards again today. And there were so many questions yesterday from the video that I decided to do another video because here's the deal. When I get excited, which you know I get excited a lot, I was so excited to share that deal with you and I wanted you guys to be able to take advantage of it because the coupon expires so fast. Um that I think I just left a bunch of holes and there were just way too many questions. So today we are going to go over this a little bit more in depth. So if you didn't catch my yesterday's video, go watch it. But we're going to go over a couple things today. If you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello and drop new right down there? I want to welcome you and I want to say hello back to you. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back to yet another video. I appreciate you so, so much. Sending you big hugs. Gus is sending you hugs as he's right here all over me, wanting me to love on him, which is perfectly fine with me today. A um, little bit of a sad day today, but I'm way more grateful than I am sad. Um, I had to take my oldest cat, Albert, who um, is almost, he was almost 20, and we had to say goodbye to him today. So that was a little sad. Um, he's been an amazing cat, like never, ever sick. He was just so old and started getting sick, and um, it was just time. And if you have pets, then you understand my sadness. So, so grateful that we got almost 20 years with that cat. And this guy will not leave me alone. He probably knows I need a little bit of extra love right now. It was very, very odd situation with everything that is going on. You can't go into the vet's office, which is very weird. Um, I, I mean, I get it. Like, I'm totally fine with that. I had to basically, like, beg them to be able to be with him because if you've ever had to euthanize an animal, I like for me, I need to be with my animals. They need to know that I'm there. And unfortunately I've had to, you know, euthanize several cats over the years because we always have animals. Um, they're just such a blessing, right? Let me know in the comments if you have animals. You guys know I have my Gus and now we have two cats. We did have three, um, but Albert, he went over the rainbow bridge today. So anyways, I almost wasn't going to do a video and I was like, no, I'm totally doing a video because if there's anything that will make me feel amazing and super happy, it is teaching on Walgreens. You know, I love Walgreens and I'm super excited to bring you this information. It's going to be a lot of repeat yesterday, but we are going to dive deeper into all things. And then the other thing that I did want to share with you, I wasn't able to take advantage of this, unfortunately, uh, because I couldn't find it in my store. But I think there is a glitch going on right now. Thank you so much to MK who emailed me and let me know. There is a certain type of toothpaste right now, Crest Toothpaste, that's finally, <laughs> finally gave up. Um that is double dipping. It's giving back points and a register reward. Go follow Michelle, my own identity on Instagram. She posted a picture of it today. It will show you exactly what kind. MK messaged me or emailed me earlier to let me know what was happening. And then Michelle posted it on Instagram and um, she did the deal and it did double dip. So I'll put a picture up on the screen of it as well. But go follow her Instagram for sure. And if you're not already following her YouTube channel, uh, you need to go subscribe to the YouTube channel as soon as you're done with this video. All right, let's get into all the awesomeness I did today. I really racked up on some register rewards. Super duper excited. 
Um, and as always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate you. And if you would like to say a prayer for our family, we would appreciate that so, so much. We are all doing just fine. Obviously, we are going to miss him dearly. And um, again, if you have pets, then you totally get where I'm coming from. Oh, I was going to tell you. So I had to beg the vet. Um, so what they did was they took him, the vet came or the tech came out and took him and they gave him a sedative and then they immediately brought him out to me. So I got to sit in the car with him for five minutes and just pet him and love him while he fell asleep. And then they came back and got him and then brought him back to me. So kind of an odd situation, but that is the time that we are in right now. All right, let's get into all of this goodness. All right, here is everything I grabbed today. A ton of repeat from yesterday, which I already told you I was going to be repeating deals to really rack up on the register rewards. Look at that stack. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so we're really going to talk about, um, I'll go over my transactions. Really, I just wanted to dive in to the whole deal of spend 30 earn a $10 register reward that seemed to create a ton of confusion yesterday and a lot of questions I did like rewatch my video to make sure that I did explain it and I did but again I was super excited so there were definitely some holes that I left out um, and I would, I just want to make sure it's very clear. So I will be popping some pictures in from the shelves. Okay. Because it is very important that you get the correct product. And at the end of the video, I am also going to insert a clip. Somebody had asked me this and I was super happy to do it with the new app. How do you scan products in the store? to see if you have a coupon for them. So at the very end of the video, there will be a clip showing you how to do that on the new app. And it, if there's a different way that you know of, you know, let me know, but this is just how I've been doing it ever since we got the new app. I just played around with it at first and figured it out. So I think on the very front page, when you sign in, there is a spot to scan, but if you scan in that spot, I think it just clips automatically clips all available coupons, and you don't want to do that. All right, so did my repeat transactions. I didn't even break these up by transaction. I did a little bit different today um, as far as the products are concerned. I didn't break them up by transaction. I think you're going to be able to follow along, though. Um, I did want to pick up some Fabuloso. I have been super focused on getting the register rewards. And there are also some amazing deals going on that I just haven't taken advantage of because my focus has been on the register rewards. So we don't get coupons for Fabuloso very often. So I added that in instead of adding in a little 29 cent highlighter. So I repeated the same thing I did yesterday, except for added in the Fabuloso. Got two Colgates and got two Crest. Used two paper coupons for the Crest. And something weird happened. I didn't even notice this until just now. I handed over two paper coupons for the Colgate. Look at e-coupon means it is an electronic coupon. It kicked off my dang paper coupon and took the electronic one. But she still kept my paper coupon. <laughs> notice it until just now and then I did have a 50 cent off of Fabuloso my subtotal was ten dollars and 45 cents I used ten dollars in points to pay um use my new PayPal gift card so I didn't pay any cash out of my pocket which is awesome I earned back um a four dollar register reward for the crest and a four dollar register reward for the Colgate so that was deal number one and then got me some Fabuloso. It would have been just a little bit less of an out-of-pocket than um, if I would have picked up a highlighter, but I wanted that. Like, I didn't pick any of that up today. All right, let's talk about this dang deal, which is so amazing. All right, I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen. Somebody commented, actually, a couple people commented yesterday that Alka-Seltzer has an IBC. Yes, it does. That Alka-Seltzer is not included in the deal. 
Hopefully your stores are tagged. This one is included. It is, and I'm trying to look and see if there's a count, 60 chewable tablets. This is the one included. It is, a, it is priced at $8.49 in my store. There is also another one that's included that's like Cool Mint or something that is priced at $6.99. That wouldn't have got me to the total that I needed to get. Now, again, I am using a 25% off coupon. That coupon comes from when you place an online order that is shipped to store. Somebody shared it with me. A few of you shared it with me. If you head over to Two Bright Saves channel, I'll pop a picture up on the screen. I've shared this before as well. She posted a link to get that coupon if you would like to get that coupon. So I am using a 25% off coupon. Let's take a look at the receipt real quick. This is the exact same deal I did yesterday, but one of the Alka-Seltzer and two of the Philips Colon Health Caplets, which are the probiotics. Use my 25% off, took off 10, 12. Use the $8 coupon off of the Philips, two of them. And today I used a $3 register reward. So my out of pocket was just a little higher. It was $11.35. So I did pay a dollar thirty-five cash out of pocket on this one for a subtotal, um, because this register reward was literally expiring today, and I was not going to lose it. So that's what I did, and I was kind of on a time crunch to get this done. So it, it doesn't matter, but that's what I did. Now people kept asking yesterday, "Can I just get two? I have a twenty-five percent off coupon. Can I just get two because they total more than thirty dollars?" If you are using the 25% off coupon, you have to be at $30 after store discounts. Your IVC books count as a store discount, which we're not using in this circumstance, and your 25% off counts as a store discount. So I bought two at $15.99 and one at $8.49, the Alka-Seltzer. That totals me $40.47. I'm well over the $30 mark because I have to spend $30 to earn a $10 register reward. The 25% off took off $10.12, which brought me down to spending $30.35. So now I qualify for the um, $10 register reward. If I purchase two, my 25% is going to take me below the $30 spend that I need to make to get that um, $10 register reward. So several of you asked me that. If you are not using um, the 25% off, then two of them would be $31.98. You would qualify if you're not using a 25% off. Use two $8 coupons, your subtotal would be $15.98. Pay that in cash, use $10 in points, Add a, nut, add a highlighter over here, add in a $5 register reward, use $10 in points. What, however you wanna mix the transaction up if you do not have the 25% off coupon, okay? Now, the other thing that threw people for a loop yesterday. So we talk about spend deals on this channel all the time. We use points on spend deals all of the time and still earn our points back. There is a very strategic way to do it your coupons count as cash in the system. Now, you guys have, if you've been following me, then you already know this. I do this every single week where I use points on a spend deal and still earn my points back. When you are getting a register reward back, it is totally different than getting points back. It doesn't matter how you pay. You will still get the register reward, even if it is coded as a spend deal. So if we take a look at what I did here, I used 16, 17, 18, 19 in coupons, that counts as cash, and I paid $1.35. I only paid $20.35 as far as the system is concerned in cash, and I used $10 in points. So I did not spend the technical spend 30. It doesn't matter. When you are getting back a register reward, it doesn't matter how you pay. I did in fact earn my $10 register reward. 
had this been a spend deal that said spend $10, earn a $3 register reward, I could take the product up to the counter, the cashier would say you owe $10, and I would say, great, can I use $10 in points? She would type that in, I would type in what I type in, on the pin pad, my zip code, and then a $3 register reward would still print. When you are working with a spend deal that is giving back a register reward, it doesn't matter how you pay. So if you were to do this right here, you didn't have the 25% off, but you had the $8 coupons, you can use $10 in points. Obviously, that is all you can use because of the way Walgreens points increments work. So you could use $10 in points and still get back your $8 register reward, your $10 register reward. I was looking at the eight of coupons, okay? So I hope that that's super clear. The reason I bought three products here or why I added in the Elka Seltzer is because I'm using a 25% off and I still have to spend 25% after store discounts. But I can go ahead and pay with points and still get my register reward back. Please let me know if you have additional questions. I know that is a lot to take in. I know we talk about using points on a spend deal all of the time, building up your transaction, making sure that your coupons and the cash that you are paying out of pocket equal the spend requirement. We do it every single week. We do not get deals often that are spend and earn a register reward. We have a deal going on this week, another one like this, and it's going on again next week. It is with razors. Um, the deal is, I think, Gillette and Venus. It is spend 20, earn a $5 register reward. Go buy you $20 in razors if you need razors and use points to pay. You can use points to pay because you're getting back a register reward. You're not getting back points. If it was getting back points, then we would have to build up our transaction, make sure our coupons equal the $20 spend, and then be able to use points. When it is giving back a register reward, it doesn't matter, okay? So I hope that was clear and I hope that answered any confusion maybe that I created yesterday <laughs> because I was so dang excited. All right, so that was transaction two. Transaction three, did another repeat. Got the Colgate, the Oral-B, the Fabuloso. Used my coupons again, my... um. Oh, I know what happened on the other one, I think, because Colgate and Fabuloso are the same company. The dang digital coupons are attaching. I handed over a 50 cent um, Colgate coupon. It attached to the dang Fabuloso. OMG. Subtotal again, 1045. I'm not getting any points back on any of these, okay? This is all focused on register rewards. So I got back my $4 from PNG. I think I picked up two. I picked up the toothbrushes in this one and the Colgate toothpaste. My $4 from Colgate. Next transaction. This time what I did because I had three more coupons left for the Phillips, I picked up three of them. I bought three of these babies for $15.99. That's what I did. So I got three of them for $15.99. Um, I needed a highlighter so that I could get my total up to $20 so I could use $20 in points. Um, and I don't get taxed on these, so I already knew that from yesterday. So there's my highlighter. I purchased two Kiss Balms as well because, oh, I forgot to pull my dang Kiss Balms out. Where are they? Oh, hang on. Here they are. <laughs> I left them on the counter. I purchased two Kiss Bombs since I was using the 25% um, off coupon on this transaction. I thought, let me go ahead and pick these up because honestly, if I would have just done these three and used my three $8 coupons, I would have had to pay a subtotal of like $1.50 without adding something in and then having to use a register reward. So instead, I built my transaction up with these so I could use my 25% off and just roll in points. And then there's my three Phillips for $47.97. So the 25% off took off 
I used three of those $8 coupons. That was all the coupons I used. My subtotal was $19.74 with tax $20.21. I used $20 in points, just paid the little bit of cents in tax. What I got back from this transaction was a $10 register reward. Thank you very much. And a $5 register reward, building up my register rewards. So that's what I did in that transaction. And yes, I had to purchase three because I was using the 25% off and um, it would have dropped my, my spend amount under 30 if I would have only bought two, okay? And I wanted to use up all of my coupons. So that was all of the coupons that I had for that awesome, awesome product. Oh my gosh, they were only good for one week. All right, last transaction I did. Two more Colgate, two more Crest, and a Dawn. This store did not have any Fabuloso. I was kind of bummed because I wanted another Fabuloso. Digital coupons are a one-time use. I am using different accounts for these. I had a digital coupon over here and a digital coupon over here. So there is my Dawn for 99 cents. My Colgate, two of them for $5.98. The two Crest for $3.99 each. Handed over two paper coupons. Handed over one paper coupon for the Colgate, had a digital coupon for the other Colgate, and a digital coupon for the Dawn. My subtotal was $9.70. I used $10 in points, paid a little bit of tax. Again, used my PayPal debit card, so I didn't pay anything. And got back a $4 register reward and another $4 register reward. And in my very first transaction, OMG, OMG. Do you know how long it's been since I've had one of these? These don't print for me. Last one I found in a basket. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe I got this. Super excited. I'm going to be using that next week. Remember, you cannot use points with these. They do not work. You cannot use points with these. It is not like the um, digital boosters that we get or the product spend deals in the store. Okay. So subtotal that I paid in cash for all five transactions was a little bit higher today than it was yesterday, $2.25. I'm pretty great with that considering I got to pick up some Fabuloso and some Dawn. And then um, what I earned today in register rewards was $49. If I would have done one more transaction, I would have been over 50, but I was ready to be done. Because <laughs> I did go to three different stores you guys, I went to three different stores, too, looking for the dang toothpaste glitch. Not, not a one of those stores had the toothpaste that is glitching that I showed you at the beginning. So I went to three different stores. I earned $49 today in register rewards. Yesterday, I earned $37. So I am now at $86 in register rewards that I will be using for the beauty event. Super duper excited. If you do not have the 25% off, these are going to be on sale next week. Buy one, get one half price. It's going to be the same price as what I pay today, which is like $7.50. And you get back a $5 register reward. So I will probably, no, I will for sure be picking up some more of these next week because the $5 register rewards are awesome. <sighs> they don't match the $10 register rewards. However, all right, so I'm so excited. I have four $10 register rewards now. Those are going to help so much at the beauty event. Let me know if you were able to go and do the Philips Alka-Seltzer deal. How did you mix it up? As I told you yesterday, there are a couple of more products included. Do not pick up the Alka-Seltzer that has the IVC because that one is not included. And make sure you are picking up the correct Philips. There are two Philips products, actually. This one was $15.99 and there's another one that's like $26.99 that's bigger. So, okay, I hope you got some value out of it. Let me know if you were able to do that deal or what you are excited about stocking up on register rewards with buying. We got some good deals coming next week with some lower value register rewards, but they're still gonna be awesome. All right, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your evening and I will talk to you soon. Bye.